Well, I made another uh, simple pulse motor um, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, I'm still testing out homemade batteries, and I'm always trying to find something new and different to use these homemade batteries on. And then, of course, testing out the LEDs. And uh, so this little device here is a pulse motor, very simple uh, reed switch activated pulse motor that uh, I have running on a supercapacitor. And this little board here lets me try different supercapacitors in this. And then I have a feed here for connecting the uh, homemade batteries if I want to on this. But it's just a simple pulse motor with an air core electromagnet. And uh, it goes by, hits that switch there, and activates the circuit and turns on the electromagnet and around goes the wheel. And then on the uh, reed switch, across the leads of the reed switch is an LED that when the uh, reed switch uh, opens up, the energy from that coil f flies backwards, what they call flyback, and lights up the LED. And uh, this particular one um, was interesting. That's why I'm making the video, because the supercapacitor is a 2.3 volt, 10 farad super cap. And if I load this with about half a volt to one volt, this thing will run for half an hour. And I thought that was rather interesting, so I, I'm going to show it here. Um, there's the circuit diagram for it. It's very, very simple. I'm just calling this the uh, simple capacitor pulse motor. And I'm lid motor, and this is the 2nd of July, 2012. But there's not much to it. Um, it's just a 2.3-volt, uh, 10 farad supercapacitor. There's a reed switch with an LED across the reed switch. Um, it's a monopole type of rotor with an air core coil, a 30 gauge wire, about 400 turns. Uh, extremely simple, but it was fun. And so I thought I'd share it with the folks. But let me show you how this works. I'm just going to tap this for a couple of seconds here. And that's all it takes. And like I say, this this will run for almost half an hour with what I just did. And it, it was rather surprising that it would do that. And uh, it has to do with this flyback and the way the flyback uh, energy flies back out of that coil and enters the circuit again. But uh, this is just one of these lid motors. It's made out of a jar lid. That's what I use uh, for most of my motors are these uh, plastic jar lids. And that's me. And there's just not much to this thing. But it was interesting, and so I thought I would uh, show it here. Fun little project. And um, one of the things that uh, I have to do, because of where I work here in the house, is these kings can't make any noise. They have to be um, very, very, very quiet and silent. And they have to be uh, something that... Uh, you don't have to fiddle with because sometimes I run these things for a week non-stop on one of these homemade batteries so I wanted something this time that had a bearing on it a real bearing and uh, so I put a real bearing on this a pretty good bearing it's just one bearing and so that it would be stable enough to run for a long period of time and uh, that's what I, I do sometimes is I just let these experiments run for uh, sometimes a week before I even touch them um, uh, the uh, homemade batteries, you add water to them to keep them going, most of them. And this one here, I may hook up to one of those type of batteries and just water it every few days, depending on the humidity, and just see how long it'll run. You have to use a very, very good reed switch for this type of motor. And these happen to be made in Japan uh, reed switches. But uh, if you use a cheap reed switch, they stick, and then the motor doesn't work anymore. But uh, this particular one is a good one. Anyway, that's uh, that's my little uh, simple capacitor pulse motor. Thanks for watching.